Today we're going to talk about one of the more popular plants with kids and adults, the Venus flytrap, which is our carnivorous plant, and it comes from North and South Carolina. That's its native territory. Everyone is fascinated with the carnivorous plants because they eat insects, which is not something most people associate a plant with, because plants, for the most part, make their own food. So today we're going to make a Venus flytrap puppet to mimic what a Venus flytrap looks like and how it functions. And it's really a fun little puppet to make. So all we need is a paper plate. So this is just your common cheap variety of paper plate. And I've colored the, the top side you would eat on is pink because the inside of the Venus flytrap is pink. And on the reverse side, I have colored the whole thing green. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be green. So the reason the outside is green is because the carnivorous flytrap is a plant and plants have a lot of green because that's from the chlorophyll that helps them take the sunlight and the water and the carbon dioxide and make the sugars they, they make to grow. The pink on the inside of the Venus flytrap mouth is to help attract insects because insects are attracted to colors. That's what flowers are colored for. They help pollinate and sometimes that's where you get sweet things like nectar. So the insects are attracted to the pink just like they'd be attracted to a flower. So what we're going to do to make this a puppet is I've traced where my fingers would go on the outside of the plant and I'm going to cut finger holes. So I've made some little exacto cuts to help me get through this easier. Alright, so now we have a puppet that will open and close. But if you notice, the Venus flytrap has little hairs on the outside of the leaves. So we're going to make some of those and we're just going to cut triangles all the way around just the outside curvy part of the plate. So now we have what looks like a sun. All right. And you can just fold these little hairs in. Okay, so now what we have is a paper hand puppet that looks a lot like a Venus flytrap. So the inside's pink, again, that attracts the insects, and the Venus flytrap does exude a little bit of sweet nectar to attract the insects. It's green on the outside because it does photosynthesis like most plants, and then these little hairs on the outside are so that on cold days when the Venus flytrap takes a while to close. They act like jail bars to trap the insect so it can't get away. But the reason the, the Venus flytrap knows when to close is because it has little sensitive hairs, in this case your fingers. So when the Venus flytrap feels something, that's when it knows to close. And it doesn't just close if something touches it once because that could be the wind. So it waits until an insect touches either several places or one place a couple of times quickly. And once it feels that, it knows there's something crawling around and it shuts. And then it shuts all the way and squishes and oozes digestive juices and then digests the insect. And when it's done, it opens back up and whatever the non-digestible parts were just fall out and it's ready to trap and digest again. Okay, so here we have the pink inside which would attract insects. And you can see on the outside, we have the little hairs that are going to act like jail bars. And again, it's green because it mostly uses photosynthesis. But these guys grow in nutrient poor soils in bogs. And so that's why they've evolved to catch insects. So we're going to pretend we're an insect and tickle the inside just a little bit. Oh, and there it goes. It closes. See, it closes pretty good. And it'll stay closed for a while until it figures out we tricked it. And when it realizes there's no insect in there, it will open up after a few hours or even maybe a day or two. One thing you need to know if you're going to buy a Venus flytrap, because they do sell them sometimes at big box stores and at different nurseries and greenhouses, is that they usually come in a little terrarium or they have a little flipped cup over them. And that's to keep the humidity high because Venus flytraps live in areas where they have waterlogged soil. And so they need to stay in a moist environment. So not only do you need to keep them in like a terrarium,
but you need to water them once in a while. Just keep it really misty. Keep it really humid. And then you need to make sure you keep them under plastic or glass and so that the humidity will stay up. So making a simple little handheld puppet that mimics a Venus flytrap is a great way to entertain your kids while also teaching them about a fascinating plant. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.